To balance the Ronin MX, we'll be adjusting vertical balance and then three axes, roll axis, tilt axis, and pan axis. It's important to set aside half an hour or so for this process. Proper balancing will make your chute go smoothly and poor balancing will make you want to rip your hair out. The first thing you'll need to do is build your camera. Mount the Ronin camera plate to the bottom of the camera. If your camera only has one mounting point, be sure to really lock this screw down well. It's critical to include all accessories you'll need for shooting at this point. For getting a card or battery once the camera is balanced on the Ronin, will require you to rebalance the entire rig. The Ronin's carbon fiber handlebars give you a way to hold or mount the gimbal securely. Screw each side of the handlebars into the top handle, then attach the hand grips. Make sure to screw the hand grips on well. If they are even slightly loose, the handlebars may slip while you are shooting. Now that the handlebar assembly is complete, attach it to the top of the gimbal. Slide the bars onto the top of the gimbal until you hear a click. Secure the handlebars by turning the red lever on the front of the gimbal clockwise until tight. Place the gimbal on the tuning stand. You should now mount the gimbal battery. Slide it into place at the front of the gimbal and lock it down with the thumb screws. Slide the built camera onto the Ronin's camera base. You will hear a click when the safety latch engages. Roughly balance the tilt of the camera and lock it into position with the camera base side clamp. The first step in tuning is vertical balance. This centers the weight of the camera in the tilt axis. Rotate the camera so that it is pointing straight up. Loosen the camera base lockdowns and adjust the camera forward and back until it balances. It may seem strange to leave the camera pointing up right now, but we'll set the tilt axis correctly in a couple of steps. When locking the base, make sure the measurement marks on the vertical bars match on each side of the camera. Now we'll move to the roll axis. With the camera pointing forward, loosen the lockdowns and adjust the camera left or right until it balances. Each adjustment will be small. Once balanced, the camera will remain level. Let's move on and fix the tilt axis. With the camera facing forward, loosen the camera base side clamp and move the camera forward and back until it sits level. Again, small movements are all that's needed at this point. Once the camera sits level on its own, you're done. If roll and tilt are balanced correctly, the camera will stay in place on its own at any angle. The final bit of tuning is to set the balance on the pan axis. This is the easiest part of the process. Lift one of the handlebars up. If the front of the camera swings to a lower position, it is front heavy. If the front of the camera swings to a higher position, it is rear heavy. Release the pan axis clamp and rotate the adjustment knob forward or back until the camera stays in position when you raise one side. Power on the gimbal. The Ronin should come to life and point the camera forward. If it is vibrating, the gimbal is out of balance somewhere. If this is the case, do some detective work, and rebalance. That's it! You've completed balancing the Ronin MX. If you'd like to learn more, check out our website for the Ronin MX manual or schedule time for a one-on-one -on -one tutorial.